transverse aortotomy with a double layer closure. For this procedure you can either use a whole pig heart with a good length of aorta or as in this case a section of descending aorta mounted on a vascular jig. Create a transverse aortotomy with an initial stab incision and complete it with scissors. The incision should be approximately three quarters of the circumference of the aorta. If you are using a heart, you should be able to inspect the aortic valve through the aorta. In difficult situations, you can transect the aorta completely by dividing the remnant at the back. Begin the closure with an everting horizontal mattress stitch using a double armed 3O or 4O proline. When the suture is tied, the edges of the aorta are automatically everted, as can clearly be seen here. Continue the suture along the aorta using a horizontal mattress suture to a depth of approximately 4 or 5 millimetres with each suture approximately three or four millimeters apart. This technique will automatically evert the aortic wall. Once you reach the halfway point, go to the other end of the incision and once again start with a horizontal mattress stitch. Continue with an everting mattress stitch until you join your previous suture. At this point in a clinical situation you would de-air the aorta. Secure this suture line with a knot. A second continuous suture line is now created. It is important that this suture line lies outside the previous everting suture line. 
and that the needle does not pass deeply in the aortic wall beyond the previous suture. Secure with a knot at one end. And continue with the second half of the suture line in the same way. Once the suture line is complete, you can clearly see the everted nature of the suture line. In order to check the final result, you may wish to transect the aorta and inspect it from the inside, confirming apposition of the intimal surfaces of the aorta.